baby squirrel use a sexy motherfucker. <laughs> Hey guys, right, I'm gonna teach you that uh, nice little song I did there. Um, obviously on a six string guitar and I'll explain some of the gear I'm using and some of the history behind uh, sort of Epiphone and Gibson. So I'm gonna quickly teach you uh, a song called Treasure by uh, Bruno Mars in uh, a C uh, pentatonic scale. Um, and that first uh, start of the song goes something like this. Uh, so we're playing an A sharp. Um, so if we start off with what I was doing, uh, so three times we go on this chord shape. And we slide up to the 12th on the G. Uh, from the 11th fret. Uh, have them pull off to uh, the 10th and the D. So. Uh, and we do some ghost notes to uh, ten, um, the A from the G, 10th from the G, and we'll turn to the 10th from the G. So, uh, so that's the introduction to the lick. So all together we have. second phrase, something like that. And you can do really whatever you want, um, but we're going to focus on uh, something called like phrasing. So we're just done with phrasing, right? Uh, so phrasing is just like, all these little uh, combined licks, so individual licks like what we've done in the first part. This was what we called a Les Paul, the snappy phone, six string, two hump hookers, and um, rhythm and treble uh, flick. Um, Gibson produced other uh, famous guitars like uh, Flying V, uh, SG, E55 uh, and Firebird. Um, and so this is just a standard Gibson, sorry, standard Epiphone, uh, which is often made in China. So Epiphone is normally made in China. So we go to the level from the B. Uh, so, um, Start a second time, um, but it's uh, which is the eighth to the B, uh, the sixth to the A, um, fourth to the C, and the eighth on the G, and that's basically the pre-chorus. And then he does this sort of trial, which is um, leading up. It's, so that's tenth, twelfth. Um, 13, 15, 15, 16 on the B. So the final lick you can do, uh, it's a bit of an extended one and I'll just show you. It's in a slightly different key and I'll just do it now. 